Okay, let's square up health. LGBTQ plus seniors are learning age is not a condom as STIs double. Dr. Ina Park, an associate professor of family community medicine at the University of California, San Francisco, and author of Strange Bedfellows, Adventures in the Science, History, and Surprisingly Secrets of STIs, emphasizes that there is a common misconception about age and sexually transmitted infections, STIs. Despite reaching, 55 or older individuals are not immune to STIs. Park stresses that you can get an STI regardless of your age, as she quotes HIV research scientist, Dr. Stephen Karpiak, quote, age is not a condom, end quote. Furthermore, Park highlights the concerning trend that STI rates are on the rise across all age groups, including those over 55. STI infections are significantly higher in the LGBTQ plus community than in the straight community. While infections such as chlamydia tend to be more prevalent among adolescents and young adults, recent research presented at the European Congress of Clinical Microbiology and Infectious Disease highlights a concerning trend. STIs, including chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis have more than doubled among Americans aged 55 to 64 over the past decade, with projections indicating that one in six people globally will be 60 and older by 2030. The study underscores the importance of healthcare professionals addressing sexual health as a routine aspect of care for older adults. There are numerous factors contributing to the persistence of STIs among older adults. Dr. Park notes that some individuals have received little or no education regarding sexually transmitted infections, STIs, and their prevention. Others may have been solely educated about unplanned pregnancy or subjected to fear-based teachings that primarily emphasize graphic portrayals of the worst case scenarios associated with STIs. Well, hmm. someone who's 60 and oh. proud of it, but <laughs> quite proud of it. Um, it's true, STIs are on the rise. And if we look at history, um, we're now in an age where, especially with men, uh, obviously with um, erectile dysfunction using Viagra and Cialis is those prescriptions on the rise. We have hormonal therapy for women who are enjoying sexual pleasures on their own as well. And with that in common, there's no education behind it. So when you go in to see your doctor, when you're going in your 20s or your 30s, now you're in your 50s plus, and they still give you 15 minutes of time, but they know they're prescribing this medication or the, these therapies, there should be conversations about the impact of that in the community. And I love the quote that he said about age is not a condom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it, to me, it just speaks volumes because it is not. But it is, con I hate to always say it, education, education. Right. But there's a different way to do it than the fear-based projections that are given by a lot of our medical professionals. And Viagra is definitely one of those numerous factors because mm -hmm. nothing scarier than a 75-year-old man with a heart on. Right. And he just thinks... Are you hard right now? It's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Okay, a little the outfit. A little the outfit than that. <laughs> but I'm just saying that, and they just think that they're unstoppable. They think they're young again because they're hard, and it's like, no. And the thing is that we know living here in, uh, in South Florida, we know about the villages, which mm -hmm. is just north of us, and how mm -hmm. they have some of the highest STDs in the country. But the thing that's really sad is that if you are a queer person and you are over 55, you chances are so you lived through... Yes. The worst. Yeah, you yeah. lived through the AIDS crisis. You lost friends, friends, many friends. And so why do you think you can throw caution to the wind now, even though you're older, you should not be changing the behaviors right. that you've learned in the past? And right. that's the hardest part. But I think it's also, it's got to go beyond just the medical aspects of it. I wish Hollywood and those that have the platform for media would mm. start doing movies based on older people being in love. Right. Mm -hmm. After the widow you know, after, right. after mm -hmm. being a widow or a widower, mm -hmm. I wish they would talk. I mean, 90% of the things that come out anymore, is, it's like if you're over 35, you're dead and you have no sex. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, I, I work with LGBT seniors and I would say that a majority of these folks who are getting ST, STDs or STIs mm -hmm. or, are, a majority of them are straight because they didn't go through those right. things. Right, right. Um, that's right. Mm -hmm. And 
But in terms of the the gay community, especially the gay male community, mm -hmm. um, it is beyond me right. that people who live through it, mm -hmm. who know better. Right. I, I, this was like maybe 10 or 15 years ago, and I was working in the AIDS arena, and one of my colleagues who had been in the AIDS arena for mm -hmm. many, many years, mm -hmm announced that he just became positive and right. i like are you kidding you work for mm -hmm. an organization whose mission is to eliminate hiv and aids right. but we also down here i mean i know a large population of friends that came out in their 50s mm -hmm. who didn't do that yeah. and you didn't discuss it you only worried about are you going are you going to get her pregnant mm -hmm. right right rather than what else happens. And I mean, I know a lot of older gay men who came out late in life after the kids grew up and the wife, you know, they had their agreement that once the kids were gone and gone, yeah. we can all separate. They didn't have the education. They didn't have the sexual education or the fear of AIDS. And then they come down here and they're finally like, oh my God, I've been waiting my whole life. I'm 55 years old. I've never had sex with a gay man. Mm -hmm. And they go back they're they have, they have their gay adolescence. They, yeah, they, 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 sow their, yeah. they sow their wild right. oats like they're 18 right. again. They still knew AIDS was happening, back but, that's, but they didn't. Right. didn't have, no, it didn't. Have, it wasn't in their neighborhood. It wasn't right. in their right. neighborhood. Right. It wasn't in their right. wheelhouse. It was like the war in Iraq. It was like, oh, they got yeah. Let me yeah. tell you, seniors are having sex all over. Yeah. The and place. like you said, and we're down Twitter, in South Florida, where we're the you know we're the transient place of the universe. Right. Universe yeah. where people come down here to be mm -hmm. to be rebuilt. Mm. Yeah, mm. party so party. We have people, you know, women that will go get tested that if they're pregnant, but they won't get tested for HIV or STIs. Why? At the same time. A man may go get tested. Sure, I'll get an HIV test, but then won't get tested for STIs. And it's like it all comes, mm -hmm. it all tied together. Cool. It's all tied together, and we just need to start focusing healthcare. Right. We focused on that, and we need to make it an okay subject to discuss, not a mm -hmm. secretive subject, mm -hmm. not right. an embarrassing right. subject. Yep. Normalize right. the conversation. Yeah, yeah. Yes. right. Exactly.